matches, number double zero, What's good, and swag team, to homies? Zombie hey, gang, you homies? Did your boy Stax Montana, man? Back out here on this NBA 2K18, my career featuring F. Beasy, the young homie Freddie Banks, aka Freddie Ferrari, aka DeAndre Jordan. I am sorry. Let me dunk it on your head, top. Boy, DeAndre. You said no, you never go one on one with the great one. That man, Freddie Banks, and then DeAndre Jordan out here making free throws. We down by five. Obviously, things are going left. Just like that man, Patrick Beverly. I don't know why he went left when I was going right, but I got that pull up mid range. I can do that with my eyes closed. You feel me? Freddie can pull that with his eyes closed. He got that on deck. But he also got, he coming quick with his defense. Look at the clamps. Oh, no. I mean, that was help defense, but you, know, you feel me? It's still the same thing. So we got the mid-range. We got the clamps. And we got the three. Yo, that thing was green, too. You see that thing light up? That thing glow in the dark, you feel me? Now, we're going to do an update video on that real soon. Displaying the jump shot. let you guys know what type of yump your boy using. And I actually gave him my in real life jump shot, Jonathan Isaac. We should have just backed up a little bit. That would have been a three-pointer, but it's okay. That's my first assist of the game. If you didn't know, I'm going to tell you right now. This man, Freddie, is kind of like Derrick Rose mixed with Kyrie. So, you know he coming for the bucket. He might pass it to you if you open like I did my man Shammy right there. Hitting that tray ball. You feel me? We finally take the lead. But primarily, your boy is looking for the buckets. I got to keep it real with you. I love scoring, whether it's with Cam, whether it's with Freddie, whether it's on the Pro-Am Park or my career, whatever, dog. I love to score points, so, you know, then uh, I made me a score points point guard. Maurice Space with the tray, though. I don't... I don't remember quite when he started making threes because every time I passed the ball in the paint, he missed that layup. I'm going to get it real. I, I got to state the facts, okay? I, I got to state nothing but the facts. Because when he in that paint, he missed all layups. So I, when he popped that three and made that thing, I was kind of surprised. Took this man to the rack. I immediately realized I did not have Patrick Beverly guarding me. You already know Patrick Beverly come equipped with a, a, a can of beer, a cigarette, and some clamps, bro. That's all Patrick Beverly want to do is clamp you out this world. So your boy was like, hey, I ain't got Patrick Beverly on me no more. I might as well start getting these buckets leaning, greening. And I love the way that be sounding when I be like leaning, greening. Because that, that, it, it sounds beautiful. It looks beautiful. It benefits both parties. So I love to say that thing. You feel me? We down by two. We trying to take the lead. I know Patrick Beverly ain't guarding me. So let me take advantage of this matchup. Another three in your face, boy. Back up. You ain't ready for Freddy. You ain't ready for Freddy. You ain't ready for Freddy. And now I'm Patrick Beverly back in the game. Not only is he ready to, ready to display clamps, this man is also scoring. I tried to get the steal. I tried to be like him and play the clamp. But I missed the steal. He scored. Trying to run this pick and roll. Look at my boy Vucevic slamming it down. You already know what time it is. And honestly, I had a thought recently. I was like, you know what? I should, uh, first of all, look at this money play. I found a money play in the Orlando Magic playbook. They should run this play every time in real life. Wide open, mid-range, that thing, bang. But what I was thinking, I should change Freddie's number to 13 so we could kind of play on the nickname freddy the 13th like friday the 13th you feel me so you know what maybe we could maybe we could work something out like that i don't know if i'm going to change the number i really do like the number 11 that's why i always choose it for freddy but you never know 
If you ever see me switch over to that 13, we become Freddy the 13th. Boy, woo. Better watch your head. Jonathan Isaac in the corner. We know you ain't chucking, so get a ball. I'm never mind. He's chucking. He's hitting. And recently, man, I ain't gonna flex. Jonathan Isaac, bro, he been, he been hitting shots for your boy. And I appreciate every shot he put up because he don't shoot a lot. He like, I don't know why, but he don't shoot a lot. But every time he shoots the ball, you know what I'm saying? I like it. Another money play in the Orlando Magic playbook all the way. The man is dunking now. And if you're going to give me that type of space, I mean, if you're going to give me all of that room to dunk the ball, hey, I, who am I to turn it down? You feel me? Who am I? To turn that down. Now we're trying to put the clamps on these boys. Look at the squad clamping up. Vucevic with the steal. Your boy with the stop, pop, pull up. That's green. I told you we could hit that pull up mid range. Oh, damn. And that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to keep knocking that thing down. You feel me? Trying to run a pick and roll. Me and Aaron Gordon going all the way to the basket. Floater over DeAndre. Just a little floater over DeAndre. We got 30 points already. We only we less than halfway through the third quarter, bro. You know what I'm saying? Your boy is out here doing his thing. He's already flexing on his defense right now. And they can't figure out a way to stop him. We figuring out ways to stop these guys. We trying to get back into the game. For some reason, they gave the ball to DeAndre Jordan like this man was Tim Duncan. Like this man was Kareem or Keith, bro. You ain't, you ain't throwing a ball down low to him and he getting you a bucket. Pick and roll with my man Aaron Gordon once again. The mid-range is working. We only down by four. Now we only down by two. That's even better. I ran the money play. I missed the wide open mid-range. The boy was so sad, so disappointed that I felt like I had to hustle super hard on defense. Somehow I got the steal. I throw the ball up to my man Vooster, bitch. It's a tie game. 60 foul, 60 foul like the Nintendo, you feel me? But they took the lead right back. They up by two. What we going to do? We going to get a bucket. We going to score. That's what we going to do, you feel me? Share me with the ball. Jonathan Isaac trying to set the screen for your boy. I'm going baseline, though. Hit him with the spin jumper, though. That mid-range shot is working, bro. The mid-range shot ain't going nowhere, bro. I get it with the spin. I can hit it straight up. I can hit it with the lean. No matter how you want to give it to me, I will take it and make it. On the fast break, let me slam it down. Don't hate on Freddy. Let that man eat. Let that man be great, huh? Let that man be great. Let that man do his thing. Pick and roll with Vucevic. These guys doubling me like crazy. We finally got the lead. No more tie game for us, dog. We coming for nothing but the lead. You feel me? We flexing just like that. Are we going to keep flexing just like that? Avery Bradley, no. They try to tie the game up. That man, Freddie, said no. We not. Uh, that's not what we here for. Look at me going to the rack. Ready to 13. Uh, do I hear a little song? But to start the fourth quarter, your boy was on the bench. Had to get some rest, dog. We played the entire first, second, and third quarter. Never sat down. So to start the fourth quarter, we finally catching our breath. We finally getting a breather. The squad gave up a bucket. It's all good, though. It's all good. Could not get subbed back in. At least we're still winning. You feel me? At the very least, we're still winning. But we also got the clap. That's what I love about this squad. All the way to the basket. Who gonna stop this man? This man is wild. This man is on the loose. This man is on the loose. Who gonna stop him? And Lou Will, don't you ever come back down in our peak with that floater. Your boy running that money play once again. The, the score is tied right now. Under three minutes in the game, bro. We need clutch buckets, clutch scoring. Green release off the money play. And the reason I was calling this play is because I was getting double teamed every time I tried to do something with the ball. So I'm like, I got to figure out a way to score without having the ball in my hand. Bro. And that money play came up clutch once again. Lean it. Green it. Coming around that screen, that money play is working to perfection. We up by one. Less than a minute left in this game. You already know what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to run the money play once again. This time we're going to start it on the left side. We're going to run to the right side. We're going to lean. It's going to bounce a little bit, but it's going to fall in. That thing going to fall in. They down by three. 
They have really just one opportunity to try to tie this game. They don't get a bucket right here. They got a foul. They got to play the foul game, and more than likely, they get on loose. Look at the clamps. Patrick Beverly got clamps. No, Freddie got clamps. All the way to the rim. Dunk. That man, Freddie. He came up oh so clutch down the stretch of this game. And we had to play the foul game. Your boy had 51 points in this game. A new career high. 51 points. That man Freddie went all the way in. Jonathan Isaac knocked down the free throw. The score is 95 to 100. Of course they ain't making that. Of course we got the win. I mean it was the Clippers. But this Magic team is kind of trash. I'm going to keep it real with y'all. So Freddie got to pull out all of the stops to even win games in Orlando. So just know every game I play is a really tough game. But we got the W. Difficult shots on the way to silver. And once that get to silver, when I run that money play and I lean for that mid-range, it's going to be a wrap. We finally got the, well, we close to the NF posterizer badge, but I actually do have it right now. But anyway, if this is your first time watching the Stacks Montana video, man, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. You're not going to want to miss all of the Freddy videos dropping real soon. The update is coming real soon when I show you guys my in real life jumper. And then I also show you how I made Freddy. So all of that is coming real soon. So make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Also, Freddy will be on the playground soon as well. And that's going to be super lit. Um, if you enjoyed this video, man, make sure you go ahead and hit that like button. I definitely do appreciate it. One like and up about the channel oh so much. And uh, you yeah, know, we trying to build, you know what I'm saying? We still trying to build here. We on our way to 1M, you feel me? So make sure you go ahead and leave a like on it. But until next time, players, real fans, stay up and I am out. Swag team, bruh. Zombie gang cousin, of course, my guy. We playing on that Hall of Fame. Yeah, <laughs> let's go. DJ, you really shut them down out there with your effort. Your defensive ability has really surprised people. I don't know why. Well, does that bother you? That part of your game has been overlooked? Nah, 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 nah. Everybody, listen, I want people to overlook that, okay? Why warn people, okay? As a matter of fact, I'm gonna need y'all to turn off your cameras and your recorders, okay? I'm not quite ready for the scouting reports to catch up to me just yet. I don't want people knowing about my defensive prowess.